Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Dalam video kali ini kita akan uh, bincangkan example 16. Nah, example 16 berbeza dengan example-example yang kita bincangkan sebelum ini. Dalam example 13, 14 dan 15, kita melibatkan objek beberapa objek tetapi kesemua objek itu bergerak pada arah yang sama. Example 16 pula sedikit berbeza kerana walaupun objek mass 1 and mass 2 are connected by a light string but mass 1 and mass 2 are moving in different direction. So in video 4.22 we can see that M1 is moving upwards while M2 is moving downwards. Untuk selesaikan masalah ni mari kita baca dulu soalan. Two object of mass 1 so non value M1 is 10 kg M2 is 15 kg uh, of mass 1 10 kg and M2 15 kg are connected by a light string which passes over a smooth pulley ok perkataan smooth pulley menunjukkan bahawa tension T1 is equals to tension T2 is equals to T ok as shown in figure 4.22 calculate the acceleration of the object of mass 10 kg now the acceleration of the object sama dari segi magnitude magnitude m1 acceleration 1 sama dengan magnitude acceleration 2 however direction of acceleration are different so disebabkan direction of acceleration bagi mass 1 dan mass 2 berbeza therefore we need to consider mass 1 and mass 2 as separate system let's identify uh, the forces on mass 1 so i have tension and weight 1 that's all and for mass 2 i have tension and you got weight weight 2 so let's draw a free body diagram for mass 1 so for mass 1 Tension upward, weight 1 downward, and acceleration is upward. Manakala bagi objek 2, tension upward, weight 2 downward, dan acceleration bagi mass 2 is downward. So, di sini sebenarnya kita ada dua unknowns. Bukan sahaja A unknown bagi soalan yang pertama tetapi tension T juga un unknown. So, kalau kita tengok dalam diagram T unknown, A unknown dan dalam diagram yang kedua juga kita ada dua unknowns T dan A. So, ini menunjukkan apabila kita ada dua unknowns maka kita perlukan dua equation. So, mana kita nak dapat dua equation, mestilah daripada mass 1 dan juga mass mass 2. So, daripada mass 1, so since this object is moving with acceleration A, so kita boleh apply Newton's second law. Sum of Fy is equals to Ma. Kenapa saya label Fy? Kalau tak label Fy pun tak apa. Saya label Fy kerana acceleration pada Y component. Okay. So, forces on Y component adalah T ke atas positif minus W1 negatif because W1 ke bawah is equals to M1 times A. So, di sini saya boleh substitute T is equals to uh, T minus uh, M1G. Okay, that is weight 1 is equals to M1A. So, di sini saya boleh substitute value T minus mass 1 is 10 kg times G is equals to mass 1 is 10 kg times A. Okay. So, itu daripada equation yang pertama. So, mungkin kita boleh rearrange equation ni. T is equals to 10 A plus 10 G. Let's name that as equation 1. For the second equation, we need to look at the second free body diagram. 
We can apply Newton's second law. Sum of Fy is equals to Ma. Nah, kenapa pula Fy? Because acceleration is downward in Y component. The forces acted on mass 2 is T upward positive minus W2 negative because W2 is downward is equals to mass 2 times acceleration is negative because acceleration is downward given in the question. Okay, so I can substitute T minus M2 times G is equals to M2 times negative A. Now, if I substitute the number, I have T minus 15G is equal to negative 15A. So, this is equation 2. We can solve this uh, simultaneous equation by using substitution method. Let's substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So, since T is equals to 10A plus 10G. Okay, so kita substitutekan dalam equation yang kedua. Minus 15G is equals to negative 15A. Okay, so I can simplif simplify this equation. Okay, plus 10A minus plus 10G, I have minus 5 minus 5g is equal to negative 25a so acceleration a is equals to 5 over 25 times g okay so, A is equals to 5 over 25 times 9.81 meter per second square. And I'll end up with acceleration A is equals to 1.962 meter per second square. Now, this is the magnitude of acceleration. However, kalau kita nak cakap dengan jelas, acceleration 1... is equals to positive 1.962 meter per second square. However, acceleration 2 is equals to negative 1.962 meter per second square. Negative because the object 2 is accelerate downwards. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Saya harap kalau ada apa-apa yang tak faham, boleh tanya saya di dalam kelas ataupun tulis dalam komen. Uh, itu saja untuk kali ini pada video seterusnya kita akan bincangkan example 17 uh, yang melibatkan dua objek yang bergerak pada paksi X satu objek pada paksi Y objek yang berbeza so kita kena tengok uh, bagaimana kita nak selesaikan masalah ini sekian terima kasih